Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to do a formula performance test. And today we're going to look at VLOOKUP CHOOSE versus INDEX MATCH. So these are two popular formulas that allow us to do a lookup to the left. And this example here, and I'll just jump right into it, I have an INDEX MATCH formula and it's looking up this value here in column B and then returning a value from column A. And this lookup table has 500 rows. So over here, what I'm going to do is copy this formula down 50,000 rows. So we have 50,000 rows in this table over here. I'm just gonna double click the fill handle to copy that down. Now I currently have Excel in manual calculation mode. So these formulas have not calculated yet. You can see they all return the same result. We can also see that on the formulas tab. If we go to uh, calculation options, we have it in manual calculation. So I'm just going to now run a macro that's going to start a timer, put Excel in automatic calculation mode to calculate, and then show the results. So very simple macro. I'm just going to click this button here, and we can see that those cells, 50,000 cells, took 0.19 seconds to calculate. I'll hit OK, and that'll put the result of that right here. So now we're going to do the same with the VLOOKUP CHOOSE formula. And here's the VLOOKUP CHOOSE. Again, this is a VLOOKUP that has the CHOOSE function uh, nested in here for the table array. And this is a trick that allows us to do a lookup to the left. So let's see how long this takes to calculate. Again, I'm going to copy it down uh, 50,000 rows. And then we'll hit the button here to run the macro. You can notice down here in the status bar that we're seeing some calculation time, and that took 3.4 seconds. So definitely slower here with VLOOKUP CHOOSE over INDEX MATCH. Now, this is not VLOOKUP's fault. So I have a regular VLOOKUP here, and uh, this is doing a VLOOKUP to the right. So just a normal VLOOKUP with a normal table array. Go ahead and copy this formula down, and then again, we'll run the macro. And we can see that that calculates in 0.18 seconds. So very fast. VLOOKUP by itself is very fast. The match function is also very fast. Uh, the choose function is what's slowing us down. And this only gets worse as the lookup table gets bigger. So our lookup table here is just 500 rows. On this sheet, I have a lookup table that's 5,000 rows. And so we'll perform this same uh, calculations here. I'm going to first uh, copy down the index match formula, and it gets the same formula there. Go ahead and calculate. That again runs very quickly, 0.14, actually faster than the previous test. And that can just be due to the orders here. So the data that the order, or the order that the data is in can impact that performance as well. All of this data is unsorted, but the order of the data can still impact performance a bit. Now if we go over to choose, I'll go ahead and double click the fill handle to copy that down, and then we'll hit calculate, it'll start running. Down here in the status bar, you can see that we're calculating a lot slower here. And I'll go ahead and speed up the video so you don't have to watch this. And so after a few screen flickers there and Excel not responding messages, uh, 35 seconds, almost 36 seconds later, it finished calculating. And again, just to, so we don't blame this on VLOOKUP alone, we'll do the same test with VLOOKUP here, calculate that. That calculates at 0.148 seconds. So again, the choose function is what's causing the slowdown here. And I believe this is due to evaluating these arrays. So as these arrays get longer within our choose function, I believe that what Excel is doing is it's evaluating that array and putting all those values in memory and then doing the lookup on those arrays. And then of course, returning uh, from that array as well. So I believe this just takes additional time for Excel to do this calculation where you wouldn't have that with a normal VLOOKUP or a normal match function. And then I just did a quick uh, calculation here to just divide those numbers. Uh, so that really shows us that the VLOOKUP choose is over 255 times slower than index match. And where this can really cause problems is if you use whole column references. And I have an example of that on this sheet here. So what I mean by whole column references, if we look at the index match, uh, we're now just referencing the entire column. We can see that over here and within these references here, just referencing the entire column. 
Now this works fine with index match. It calculates very, very quickly here. Uh, index match is optim or the match function really is optimized for that. Uh, same with VLOOKUP, works fine. Whole column references are okay. With the choose function, not so much. Uh, this took over 4,000 seconds or 74 minutes. So over an hour, almost an hour and 15 minutes to calculate these 50,000 cells that contain these whole column references in the choose function. So I'm not really a fan of whole column references. Uh, besides this scenario, there's lots of other scenarios where they can just cause problems, cause formulas to need to recalculate, even if we were to select or change, I should say change a cell up here or something like that. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of whole column references, but if you do use them, a lot of functions in Excel are optimized for them. In this case, this choose with VLOOKUP scenario is not and can really slow down your models. So here's a chart that shows the results of the first two tests where we did a lookup into a 500 row table and then a 5,000 row table. Obviously index match is much faster here and I'd recommend using it in all scenarios over VLOOKUP choose. If your lookup table is really short and really small, then you can probably get away with VLOOKUP choose, but I really don't see any benefits to using that formula. It's also a little bit more complex and takes more time to write. So I would just recommend using index match in all scenarios where you're doing a lookup to the left. Now I've excluded the new X lookup function from this test. Of course that can do a lookup to the left as well. XLOOKUP is still on a preview build and it's still being optimized. So as soon as it's in full production, I'll do another test where we compare XLOOKUP and the performance of that as well. I will also put a link in the description below this video where you can download this file if you want to test this out for yourself. I'm using the latest version of Excel for Office 365, and I would say the specs on my computer are pretty average. I'll put those in the description below as well because that will determine performance. But I'd say I have a pretty average laptop uh, and the version of Excel you're using might determine these results too or change the results a little bit. VLOOKUP and the match functions have been further optimized on Office 365, but regardless, the choose function is still going to slow you down no matter what version of Excel you're using. So I would say use match over choose in all scenarios, all versions of Excel. Of course, feel free to leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions, and maybe any other questions you have on other formulas that you want to see performance tests done on. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.